Hello, beautiful people. Thank you for watching the weekly tea leaf reading here with Red Earth Goddess. This reading will be for the week of August 28 till September the 3rd, 2016. Um, and before we get the reading started and I get the um, bowl, the tea leaf bowl that I've already drank, um, I'd like to present the rose quartz here. Rose quartz symbolizes unconditional love. It's um, very great. Um, it's a very healing and protective stone for the uh, for the heart chakra. The way I like to see the rose quartz is it is an, the ultimate balancer of all the other chakras, the up to from the lower chakras to the upper chakras. I always come back to the heart. Not because I feel it's necessary to love another person or to love a physical person. It's more so about taking care of my own self, my own environment, my own body, my own soul. And in return, that reflects to the outer uh, people around, to the outer world. Um, and energy is absorbed by everyone on this planet. So that which I am will reflect to the outer world. Then I have here uh, a peacock feather and the animal, the peacock animal is an incredible, beautiful animal. Very, very, very beautiful. The shades on a peacock is very gorgeous. If you look at a, at a real, um, even photos of a peacock, you'll see that the, the, the colors of the blues, the hues, the purples and everything combined, the greens are so luxurious. In the ancient days, uh, royalty carried um, peacocks as their pets uh, because of their magnificence and their beauty. However, their voice wasn't always the most gorgeous, okay? When you hear a sound of a peacock, it's not very the... It doesn't vibrate with its physical beauty. So what I want to get at, what the message I feel for this week is... Do you feel that you reflect what you feel inside? Do you feel that other people do not reflect how they are and who they feel and what they perceive themselves to be in the outside? A lot of times, a lot of situations aren't the way they appear they are. So for this week, I'd like for you to ask yourself and to get truthful with yourself, okay? To be honest with you, I always that mention that all the time. But this week in particular, this is the message that is truly coming out, okay? So um, here's the cup and my owl cup. But the thing is, I'm going to have to move things around so that you can get a better view of the leaves here with the camera lighting. Okay, guys. There, this week it looks like there's a lot of leaves, okay? Yeah. I've put in a lot, so let's move some things up here. I'm kind of zooming it in. Um, there's a few things that I'm seeing here. I'm seeing a reversed three or a reversed E, if that makes sense. So it can be symbolic of the letter or the number three. Um, it could be that something is coming to you in threes at this time. It could be a Trinity connection of three people, you included. It could be a brotherhood or a sisterhood, a connection that you're feeling. It could be that you have been overlooking something that people have been talking to you about and it's coming in threes. So it could be that somebody has been saying something and then you find another person who's not related to the other person or doesn't even know the other person is saying, repeating the same message. Um, so I'd like for you to really pay attention to that. On that note with the three or the E, which is funny because it literally just dropped, <laughs> which is very important because I just delivered the message and as soon as I delivered the message, it just dropped, which means that is what that means. I'm seeing an animal here, okay? Um, 
it could be perceived as a few different things. It could be perceived as a horse. It could be perceived um, as a fox or like a donkey. But I'm seeing it as a, as a horse because I'm seeing that you are you are seeking adventure. You are seeking freedom at this time. You're seeking something out of your comfort zone. I feel like a lot of you feel that you want to get out of the known right now and go right into the unknown at this time. Um, I feel as though a lot of you are feeling um, just bored with everything that you are and everything that you're aware of, that you just want to be in the unknown, okay? A lot of people have been coming to me and subscribing to my channel because they're like, whoa, your message is, is being delivered in such a unique way that this is so new to me and I feel this intense, intense connection. Um, and I feel the reason as to, one of the reasons as to this connection that these people are, that you guys are feeling is because they're, everything is interconnected, okay? So it takes a certain level or a certain step or a certain journey or a certain door that you got to go through and process through so that you can reach the other, okay? Like the letters of A, B, C, D. You cannot go to D if you haven't started off with A, Okay, so I feel like a lot of whether you see it as spirituality, whether you see it as a practical level, if you're an apprentice, for example, if you're a construction worker, for example, you cannot be a master at welding or bricklaying if you haven't started off with the first groundwork. So you got to get passed by certain people. You got to get passed by a certain message first in order to reach a different de uh, destination or a different person that's delivering this message or that message. A lot of times though, because things are interlaced and interconnected, like literally when it's like a, a, a knot, um, you feel that connection because I, you may feel that I, I'm delivering the message that you already knew within yourself but you felt the need that at that time or at this time, someone to come forth and deliver it with such passion and true authenticity that it means a lot to you. That's affecting your um, heart at this time. Okay. Um, it's good though, because it, you know, like I said, that letter or that number is moving in that direction of which the horse is going okay but it looks like to me it's going counterclockwise so this is clockwise and this is counterclockwise um we're in the moon phases of um the wani moon if i'm not mistaken at this time um as well as yeah um as well as Mercury retrograde is about to begin. And um, that means, you know, delays in communications. Um, it could be things going off with your computers, with your radios. It could be that you may have to repeat a certain uh, phrase or kind of like a cycle or re-watch a video or a message or ask someone to repeat themselves again because the first time their true message, the true hidden meaning behind the message didn't make sense to you. Okay, so something is kind of repeating itself because at the first one, you either A, didn't understand it, B, overheard it or overlooked it, or it didn't go, get through to you, or it did get through to you, but you took it in a completely different context and misunderstood the whole thing. So the whole conversation, the whole idea, the whole message is coming out again, okay? Remember, here, okay? Pay attention, pay attention. Um, let's see. There's somebody that is, did you guys see the soap? <laughs> I have soap in the background. I'm sorry, guys. I literally had to wash my hands before I started this. So I just kind of left that there. But don't mind it, okay? Um, I I feel that there's somebody who um, is starting an apprenticeship that involves literally witchcraft. I'm seeing a broom, okay? I'm seeing a broom here. Um, and the broom is facing downwards, okay? So it could be that A, you've either been initiated into witchcraft 
um, as an apprentice, so this is something new to you and you've come from an, a religious background, or it could be that you, you were, you know, realizing that you were always born a witch um, and you are just learning more, okay? I feel that you're picking up something with medicine and I feel like this reading is really meaningful to you. Tea leaf readings in particular are meaningful to you because A, it is done, it is read with plants, with leaves, you know what I mean? So particularly, I feel that if this is a new apprenticeship or even if you are excelled in witchcraft, um, remember the word witchcraft means wise woman and means medicine woman, okay? Witchcraft has been labeled as something that it, it you know, very sinister, but it's so much more, okay? Um, witchcraft involves natural medicine, okay? So this is something that... Um, I'm feeling that you should be looking into, um, it could be that, you know, working with natural plants, planting more herbs in your garden, um, and eating, cooking with those plants is exceptionally valuable to you at this time right now. Um, I'm particularly seeing mint and sage, um, you know, so if you can work with planting, if you don't have it, plant some sage in your back backyard or front yard and cook with it um, and work with it, you know, clean the air with it. Um, you know, I'm also seeing a lot of sweeping. So for example, pine, I like pine. I like to burn pine. Sometimes I collect the leaves from the forest that have fallen down and burn it. Pine is exceptionally great with um, removing hexes, uh, which um, dark craft, when I say dark craft is more of a negative form in terms of a negative mindset or a negative and a lot of times it comes with us it comes from within us we don't even realize okay that what you send out returns to you so if you're feeling negative it's the same craft really but it's the intention that comes off so if on a day you weren't feeling so good but you you did some form of magic you know pine is great for removing that what you sent out you know whether it was intentional or not another thing that i like to suggest is um Cleaning your home, like the, the floor, with pine. If you have pine, uh, uh, you know what I mean? Like the pine, whether you call it pine water or, uh, you know, there's those mopping stuff, right? Do it with something that, that has pine in it, okay? That really takes out that old residue. And it doesn't even have to be negative influence or energy, but... That old residue, that that gnome that you're tired of, that you've been holding on to for so long, okay, that we don't even realize we're holding on to things because um, energy, we absorb energy, um, especially your home, okay? We take energy from other people that we meet, we go out, we work, it comes home with you, that, that energy. So cleanse your home with that pine, cleanse your home with that sage, um, and work with those elements, okay? Uh, work more, learn more about natural medicine, plant your herbs. Um, you don't even have to consider yourself as a witch. You could be an ordinary person um, that feels the need uh, to learn more about um, medicine, okay? It's all around us every day, you know what I mean? So... Um, I'm actually seeing wings, but I'm seeing lips at the same time. Now, you may see the same thing as me or not when I look at this two gap. Um, but uh, the symbolic message that I'm seeing between wings and a lips is somebody from afar. Uh, somebody that does not live in your state or your own country. Could be in the same country, but it's in a different state. Um... That's what the wing symbolizes. It could be, you know, uh, like a, an airplane type of thing. It could be an angelic, you know, presence or someone from far. Okay. A physical person, like a real person that lives from far that is communicating a message to you. Okay. So lips symbolize a communication. It's, it's a communication. Lips are a communication. Um, so this person would like to deliver a message to you, okay? So pay attention to what this, hear this person out because this week you're going to hear this message. Um, and again, it's going to come in threes, okay? And I'm not Wiccan. I don't believe in Wicca to each their own. If you do, that's great. Um, if you don't, but you're taking that as a practice, that's great too. That might work out for you. 
Um, I don't really have a certain dogma that I stick to. I'm somebody that studies things. Um, I don't necessarily believe in them because I believe, I don't necessarily believe in them because I believe intention is everything, okay? It's the same, every, life is created with these elements I don't care what you call yourself, at the end of the day, these elements will still always be here, whether you're religious, whether you're spiritual, whatever you are, okay? So that's the way I look at it as. But there's communications coming in. Hear them out. Don't be very quick to judge. Don't be very quick to be offended. Don't be very quick to reply and answer either because you need to be listening, okay? Listen it, listen very well, okay? Listening is very, very, very important. I'm also seeing dragonflies and dragons, okay? Do look up dragonfly. I know it's very symbolic with uh, butterflies, symbol of transformation, symbol of change. Uh, you know, we did see a, a horse and, and things like that. Horses symbolizes that as well, um, that freedom and that change and that transformation, um, but there is a lot of arts involved with uh, people who have a connection to dragonflies, okay? Have you been seeing dragonflies lately? Pay attention to that, okay? Um, there is somebody with the letter T that is trying to reach out to you. Someone who has the letter T in their first name or last name or even middle name, but I feel like it's a first name. Um, that's funny. My first name starts with a T and I'm not making this up because I literally see a T here. Somebody, this person, this is how you're going to know who this person is. This person is very symbolic of a tree. Okay. This person comes across to you as a tree. And what that basically means is this person is someone that, um, I feel like it's actually resonating with this person that with the lips from far, um, that's trying to communicate something to you. This person has something to deliver to you. Like I said, pay attention to what they have to say. You don't have to rush it. Uh, you don't have to rush the, the conversation or to meet with this person or to speak with this person, whether it's online or not, or on the phone or not. But listen, hear them out when you're ready, okay? But you'll know who this person is. Um, doesn't necessarily have to be through a physical appearance, but you'll know by... Um, what they have to tell you, okay? Like I said, they're going to come across as um, an influence, something like a tree, something that involves tree. Like I said, could be inclu involved like environmental, uh, could be somebody that works with herbs, like I said, someone who's interested in herbs. I'm also seeing a rooster. Um, roosters get out early in the morning on top of the roof, like early in the morning, six o'clock, five o'clock, sometimes even before, sometimes, I don't know, depending, red rooster, um, and they make their noise. They sing, they chant, uh, you know, for other people to pay attention to, to, to hear them out. So like I said, it's all interconnected. It's connected. Listen to what this person has to say to you. It could be even a different forms of people coming to you at this time. Could be you going to them, could be you connecting to other people's channels, vice versa. I'm also seeing a person here lurking on you, wanting to hear what's going out in your life. This person is, is not a negative, this person is not bad, uh, but do be aware that there are people, that you are attracting lots and lots of different people in your life right now. You have to also be aware that when you are involved with healing arts, when you are involved with awakening when you're involved in in lots of stuff like this you're going to attract lots of different people in all areas of life okay you're going to attract people you're not ready for you're going to attract people who are way out of your league uh, you may be way out of their league you're going to be attracting so many different types of people um uh, because uh they need it you need it Okay, and a lot of times you may be feel you're not ready to or this is not for you you know but it, it may come across a certain way, okay? I don't know where it went. It just disappeared. Uh, I looked away and it just disappeared. It must have fell or something. But you are attracting attention your way, okay? Um, let's turn. I'm also seeing right here, there's a specific Celtic, um, if you can see that. There's a specific Celtic uh, symbol. It's like a, a, a triple 
um, sign. And then, it, it, you know, like it spirals. I don't know if it's the Trinity sign, the Celtic. It's kind of like the Celtic knot. It's also kind of similar to the, um, I can't remember the actual name right now. That shield. There's a shield. Um, it's connected to the goddess. It's connected to the Vikings. Um, but do look into that right now. I feel like there's somebody here with a Celtic origin, someone with a Celtic background um who is really really connecting to the symbol right now it could be that you are the person who is finding yourself um and your and your abilities in witchcraft it could also be that you are connected to somebody who is and they're helping you out with your medicine practice and then there's a the moth Moths are also similar to butterflies. Oh, and then there's a heart. Do you see that heart right there? Somebody loves you. Okay. So, and then it kind of looks like there's a heart here too, eh? But this heart isn't as whole as that heart. Meaning it isn't shaded in as much. And it looks as though this heart right over here, there's a bird on top. That's trying to say something. Okay, guys, there's two people here that are in love with each other, but it looks like either the universe or it looks like other people are kind of uh, coming in. Okay, people are coming in um, and it's kind of distracting you in understanding if this person truly loves you. I do see love here, okay? I do see true love here. And what is true love, okay? When I say true love, it doesn't mean, oh, fairies and flowers 24-7. And um, it's like that fairy tale romance of it never ends of unconditional love, sex, uh, happiness. Uh, we live on planet Earth, guys, okay? You're, you're going to have highs and lows. You're going to be tested. Other people are going to come and your mom's going to piss you off. His mother's going to piss you off. That uncle, that friend... Things that you're going to start fighting over stupid things. Okay, that's, that, that's, it's bound to happen. But when you love yourself and you, there's true love, true love meaning that unconditional love of, you stick it out, okay? You stick it out, you, you let go of things, you let things happen. Well, not that you let things happen, but you let go of things and you stick together, okay? And you come out stronger together. And I feel that this is happening um, because, like, I don't know, there's a bird here and this bird symbolizes a message, okay? And the bird is literally right on top of the left side of the heart. So pay attention to the left side. Your heart is placed on the left side of your body, okay? It's not on the right side. It could be something that involves the divine feminine, um, it could be, you know, it could be somebody who's becoming aware of the divine feminine. So I see this more of as a male and this could be as a female. Okay. It can also symbolize a woman who's more masculine and things like that as well. Who's receiving the message only, you know, but I do see it's more of a male. Okay. But there is love there. There's two hearts. Come on. And one heart is on top of the other. But like I said, there's a lot of distractions. Because people coming in, situations coming in like that. But like I always say, true love is when people can go through highs and lows together. Relationships, friendships can go through highs and lows together. Obstacles, challenges, and they come out stronger in the end. That is true love. Okay? True love is not 24-7 of great sex. It's not 24-7 of I do this for you and I love you in return. It's not 24-7 of chocolates and roses and jewelry and, and, and I, my husband bought me this. He loves me. No, okay? Okay. Um, yeah. I just, I sense that, you know. Um, I'm also seeing, I'm seeing that somebody broke something. Somebody broke a pattern. Okay. There has been a pattern that has been broken. Um, 
And in this sense, I feel as though it's not necessarily that you've broken something that repeats itself. Um, things will always repeat itself, but it's how you handle it. It could be that in the last time that something happened, you chose something, you chose to react to something. But this time around, you took a different route. And because you took a different route, you broke that repeated behavior and outcome. And that's a good thing, okay? Because that that goes back to this, okay? That goes back to that heart situation. I feel like that bird is communicating. It could be me. <laughs> that bird could be me communicating to your heart. The divine feminine is saying, there's love. No need to worry, boy. No need to worry, brother. You know, there's love. This person, this girl loves you. This man loves you. This... There's love there, okay? Those past patterns have been broken. No more. It will not repeat itself, okay? So I'm going to end this reading with it saying thank you so much for watching and subscribing and commenting and, and connecting and sending your emails and hear, allowing me to hear your stories and having readings with me and things like that. So um, thanks. Um, don't forget to visit my website, redearthgoddess.com. And I hope you guys have a great week. Okay, guys, take care.